Summary. Act 1. The Problem with Love. The first scene sets up the action of the entire play. Theseus, Duke of Athens, is going to marry Hippolyta in a few days. It should be a happy occasion, but four young people with one very large interrelated problem come crashing into his wedding preparations. First, there's Hermia. Hermia loves Lysander and wants to marry him. Her father Aegeus, however, insists that she marry another man, Demetrius. If she refuses to do so, she'll be sent either to her death or to a convent, as is the law in Athens. And then there's Helena. She loves Demetrius, and Demetrius used to love her, but now he loves Hermia. So what do the youngsters do? Lysander and Hermia decide to run away into the woods and elope. Demetrius follows because he still wants to marry Hermia, and Helena, of course, follows him. In the second scene, a bunch of workmen from Athens meet to cast a play they're going to put on for the Duke's marriage. Most of these characters are interchangeable, but Bottom the Weaver, one of the greatest fools in all of literature, establishes himself as a wannabe star. Act 2. Magic. The first character to speak in Act 2 is Puck, a magical, shape-shifting trickster. He talks with another fairy until their masters arrive. Puck's boss is Oberon, king of the fairies. He and his wife, Titania, queen of the fairies, aren't very happy with each other. In fact, they're at war over the fate of a human child. Oberon wants the child to be his servant, but Titania wants to raise him as her own because the boy's mother was a priestess in her service. After Titania leaves, Oberon sends Puck to find a magical flower that can be used to make a love spell. Oberon wants to use it on Titania so she'll fall in love with the first creature she sees. Puck exits and Demetrius and Helena enter. She's coming on to him, but he's pushing her away. Oberon sympathizes with Helena, and when Puck comes back, makes him promise to cast a love spell on the young man wearing Athenian clothes. Puck, however, never got a look at the young man's face. That plot device is crucial for the mischief Shakespeare is about to unleash on the young lovers. Titania goes to sleep in the woods. Oberon puts the love potion on her eyes. He leaves, and Puck comes through the woods and puts the love potion on the first guy he sees wearing Athenian clothes who just happens to be Lysander, sleeping next to Hermia. Enter Demetrius and Helena. They wake Lysander, and he falls immediately in love with Helena. Those three leave, and Hermia wakes up scared and alone. Act 3. Jackasses. Act 3 shifts back to the working men, who are in the woods rehearsing their play. Puck is watching. When Bottom goes off stage so he can make a more dramatic entrance, Puck changes his head to that of a donkey. This terrifies the would-be actors, and they run off. Titania wakes up and falls in love with Bottom, the donkey-headed fool. In another part of the woods, the young lover's world is falling apart. Hermia thinks Demetrius murdered Lysander, and Demetrius claims he loves Hermia again. She storms off, and Demetrius falls asleep. Oberon makes Puck put the love potion on Demetrius to fix things. Well, that sounds great, until Lysander and Helena enter. Demetrius wakes up and falls in love with Helena, who's now certain the men are making fun of her. The men fight, and Puck gets into the action, tricking them by pretending to be first one and then the other. Eventually, everyone collapses, and Puck puts a love potion on Lysander. Act 4. The Worst Morning After Ever As the act opens, Bottom is making <clears throat> an ass of himself, and Titania is happy to serve him. Eventually, they fall asleep, and Oberon removes the spell. Titania wakes back up in love with Oberon, and disgusted with herself for having slept with an ass. Then, Theseus, Hippolyta, and Aegeus enter. They were out hunting in the woods, where they stumble across the four lovers. When Theseus asks why they were there, Lysander admits they were running from the law so that they could get married. Aegeus starts to bluster, and tries to get Demetrius in on the complaint. But Demetrius interrupts and says that he now loves Helena again. Ending all this silliness, Theseus steps in like a wise ruler, overrules the angry dad, and says that Demetrius and Helena can get married, and Lysander and Hermia can as well. The lovers talk about how everything that happens seems like a dream, then head home. Bottom wakes up alone and with his own head back to normal, and oh, does he ever hope that what happened to him was a dream. Act 5. Happily Ever After in Act 5, the working men put on a clumsy and overacted play about a tragic love story. Bottom and the gang make complete fools of themselves, but don't realize it. The couples, however, are so happy that they reward the workers richly. All the characters dance off the stage, and the fairies come back to bless everyone and thank the audience. Now that's a happy ending.